We're going to modify this Rainbird CP100 sprinkler valve for use in the spud gun. Uh, this is a one inch valve. The nice features on this particular one are the screw end mounts on both sides and the fact that it's very very thick where we're going to tap the threads in this thing. Uh, in addition to the valve you'll need a one eighth inch, one -eighth inch nibble a one eighth to one quarter inch converter and you need that to go from the nipple to the blowgun. This is a standard blowgun like you put on any, any uh, high pressure air hose. You can get this in your local Lowe's as well. Tools you'll need uh, you'll need a drill, some of that yellow Teflon tape for gas, some epoxy, uh, a wrench, a 5 16 inch bit, a 1 8 inch tap, NPT thread, that's pipe thread tap, and the tool to hold that so that you can screw it in. Alright, Rainbird CP100. Uh, the solenoid, first thing we do, just to get rid of the solenoid. Just it screws out. Don't need it. Uh, the bleed valve, that comes out. Don't need it. This is where we're going to actually drill the hole. First step is to pull the cover off of this thing. Alright, now when you take the top off this thing, be very, very careful and, and look at how it is on the inside. You want to make sure you got everything lined up right. The spring has to stay in there. Uh, you can pretty much just set this to the side. If you really want to see how it works, you can take off the, the diaphragm and look on the inside, but if you're not really all that interested, don't bother. It's just a simple diaphragm valve. All the changes we're going to make are going to be to this plastic part. We're going to drill the hole out in the center here to 5 sixteenths. We're going to tap it and then we're going to put that nipple in it. Also, here where the solenoid was are a couple little air holes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and plug them both. You only have to plug, I think, this one or this one. I don't remember which, so I plug them both. Uh, in any case, Use just a little bit of epoxy glue on that. It isn't a high pressure point, so it doesn't really take much. Um, that's it. When we do that, uh, once we do that, we can put the, uh, the blow gun on it, put it back together again. We're good to go. Now, it's fairly important that this be dead center straight up and down. Uh, if you don't have a drill press, just be careful how you do it. Look at the angle. Try to get it real square. that out just a little bit bigger than 5 sixteenths. All right, now that we have the, uh, the hole drilled, you want to tap it from the top because of the taper and get it in there as square as you can and it should pretty much start itself. the epoxy up and then we put this in here so we've got the 1 8 inch nipple threaded all the way in but not below the plastic here so that it doesn't get in the way of the spring we've got the 1 8 to 1 quarter adapter on top of the nipple so now this will fit onto the to the actual blow gun we still need to plug these little holes a little more epoxy is called for. Get this little hole here. All right. So we get a little bit on there. Cover that hole and a little bit on the other hole. These aren't real high pressure points, so you don't have to worry too much. And just to be thorough, you can actually go in from the back side and put just a little bit more on there. To 
complete the seal. Now on that one you want to make sure right there, this, this one that's inside the seal area, you should clean that up properly. You don't want any left over to get in the way of the rubber seal. Now when that epoxy dries, and we've got this valve on here, we'll be ready to go. The next thing I can do right now is put the blow gun on. Not too much. One, maybe two rounds at most. And we put the blow gun right there. Now you can keep pressure off the plastic by holding the uh, brass fitting with a wrench. And you can torque the blow gun all you want. All right, this is going to have to dry for a minute, and we can put it back on the body of the valve. All right, we're in the home stretch. Uh, the valve, which I've pretty much left undisturbed, the flow pointers go that way. Flow pointers go that way. You want to make sure that this spring ends up back in this hole nice and neat. You also want to make darn sure there's no trash left in here of any kind that can knock off and get into your valve. Uh, that would not be a good thing. So make sure that's very clean, trimmed up, no excess junk, no little bits of tape, nothing. All right. Flow, flow. Get the spring lined up in the cap. All right. All right. All the bolts are tightened down good. Again, flow is towards, in this case, the solenoid, switches in the front. All we got to do now is mount this to the spud gun and see if the doggone thing works.